Hello friends, Dapper Drabby here. Welcome to the deck profile for the Lycanroc deck for um, the last video of the year to be recorded. I also have some Crimson Invasion uh, countdowns coming through, but uh, for the most part, you know, everything's kind of done. Um, anything that goes up has been pre-recorded. It's been up. It's been done for a while. Taking a week off to spend time with my family. Uh, uploads will start up again uh, after the new year, uh, probably on the second or so when I go back to work and stuff like that. So, like any Lycan Rock themed deck, you're gonna have to start with four Rock Ruffs, guys. Now, I'm opting for the um, there it is, the theme, the the promo one, because I just have so many of them. But what most people will use, and what works is actually probably the best, is that uh, Rock Ruff from the uh, Crap, Guardians Rising set, where this next card is from. But I just like the hollow pattern on Rock Ruff here. These things are difficult to get, but I love them, so I ended up getting four of them. If not, I think I actually have like eight of them or something. So they're the easiest ones for me to find, so that's why I'm choosing this Rock Ruff over the other one. Nothing in particular other than that. So... Then we got the main star of the deck. We got the Lycan Rock. The Lycan Rock from Guardians Rising. Dangerous Claws does 30 plus 30 more damage for, uh, if your opponent's active Pokemon is a basic Pokemon. Um, now, against Ra Raikou, this thing just destroys, one shots it easy. And then on uh, corner is the other attack. Defending Pokemon can't retreat during your next turn if you get it set up. This, is actually, this attack can actually do some really good damage. So we have three of those guys because that's the one we were focusing on. The Midnight Form Lycan Rock. Speaking of Midnight Form Lycan Rock, we have the big boy here, right here. Um, Bloodthirsty Eyes is just too good of an ability not to try to utilize. If you're already playing Rock Ruff, you might as well throw Lycan Rock GX in there for that Bloodthirsty Eyes, for that Dangerous Rogue. Both are the greatest things. Uh, I think it's the greatest GX attack for fighting types, and the greatest ability on a fighting type is this Lycan Rock. So. Very, very great card. Um, we're also pairing it with a couple of Orangaroos just for some draw support at any given time. Instruct is just super good. If you have less than three cards in your hand, you may draw until you have three cards in your hand. That's what Orangaroo does, and that's what he's good for. And it also does Psychic to 60 damage base and then 20 more for each uh, energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. So it can actually really add up. Psychic is probably one of the best attacks in the game with all the Pokemon it is on. And then we have the best support Pokemon for Lycanroc here in Zerua Zoroark here, um, which is no explanation needed. You know, I just have these Zeruas, so they're the ones I'm using. Um, but other than that, we're gonna put a little bit of glare on the Rock Ruffs so that we can get these Zoroarks in here. I got one from the pack and one from the, you know what I mean? One from the uh, box, which I think this box was lit. You should go check out that. I can my, probably leave a link to it in the uh, at the end car at the end. It'll be clickable. But Zorak is very well known in the TCG right now for his trade ability. Discard one card from your hand, and then you can draw two cards from your deck. Right, his beating's a good backup attacker in any deck. Uh, does twenty damage for each. Of your Pokemon in play, just two energies of any color. And then Trickster GX is amazing if you are facing the right opponent. Uh, choose one of your opponent's Pokemon's attack and use it for this attack. So Trickster GX is classic, classic Zorark. You know, they trick you, the illusions, they trick you to get you to, you know, do whatever they want. They are going to use your power against you because that is the Zorark way. So let's go ahead and go into the items now. We have one Evo Soda, so that if we draw it into it, we can try to get that Zoroark down ASAP. A um, couple of Field Blowers, you know, because we are ability reliant. But also, it's good to just get rid of some stadiums that are causing you issues. We have one Rescue Stretcher to get back stuff. Um, multiples of these would probably be a good idea, but I ended up just playing one. One Special Charge, because we play a lot of Special Energy. I think we play four Double Colorless of Warp Energy. And you could argue to put strong energy in this deck as well. Uh, four Ultra Balls, pretty standard. Most deck lists, you can have four Ultra Balls in it to search out what you need at any given time. We have two Devoured Fields, which helps uh, Zorark out a lot. Helps do that extra 10 damage 
uh, from your dark and dragon type Pokemon. So Devoured Fields is actually pretty good for Zorark to hit that 130 magical number that uh, a lot of things have to be able to stay out of range. That 130 HP. Rangaroo has 120, but most of like the Shinings have 130. Uh, Greninja has 130. A lot of stuff in the meta has 130, so Devoured Field can help remedy that. Uh, we're playing two Ace Arolas, starting to become pretty standard in most decks, but helps really a lot in this. 210, if they can't knock it down, or 200, if they can't knock it down, you can Ace Arola back up. And Ace Arola I love with Lycanroc because you can reuse Bloodthirsty Eyes, so that makes it even better. We have two Bridgets, uh, starting to become standard as well. So we can get our Rock Ruffs, get our Azuras, get out an Orangaroo. So two Bridgets is a must. We got two Guzmas. You know, in case we get stuck in the active, but also so we can pull out what we want. And we, if we don't have access to Bloodthirsty Eyes, Guzma is your boy. We got two Halas. I love Hala as a supporter card. He's kind of like the third supporter or fourth supporter in this deck. But, I mean, once you use that Dangerous Rogue or Trickster, Hala becomes the best supporter around. So I love having Hala at least one or two in a deck. And they are also playing three Mallows, which is perfect with Zorark. You pick the two cards you want out of your deck, you pre you use the ability trade, and then you draw those two cards. So, Mallow's great for that. And then, back to standard stuff, we got three ends. I mean, uh, put your whole hand into your deck and then draw the amount equal to the amount of your prize cards. We got two Professor Sycamores, uh, because you really don't need more than that when you have Zoroark. He just draws for you, you never need more cards. We have one Team Flare Grunt, which uh, I could say this could be an Enhanced Hammer. and I think ideally most people are going to play it as an Enhanced Hammer. But I decided to throw Team Flare Grunt, especially since this is just like a fun deck anyways. Just throwing it together to have that face-off between Midnight Lycanroc and uh, Alolan Raichu. And then we have one Wally, also being used just like Evo Soda to get that Zorark out as soon as possible and start using that your draw in in engine. And then to finish things off, we have a couple of choice bands and a couple of float stones. Pretty standard. Uh, oops, tool cards for most decks. And usually they play three and three, but I think two and two work fine. Um, and I'm not sure what to remove to change it around. So energy wise, we play four double colorless. You're gonna need these for both Lycan Rock and Zorark. So four of them is a must. That's the most you can play. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Six fighting energy, which obviously four of these could easily be strong energy. No, not six. Seven. Seven, seven fighting energy. Um, you know, four of these could easily be uh, strong energy, but I kept them all six as fighting. And then we're playing one warp energy in case we have a situation where we get something stuck in the active, like an Orangaroo or something like that. Um, and I will try to leave the deck list down in the description, guys. But this is the deck, the Lycanroc Zoroark deck. There is a bunch of these decks out there right now. You just should choose your own, uh, adjust it to your playstyle, and have at it. Because like Zoroark is just such a great card. And I love that it's sharing its love with Lycanroc GX. So awesome, very awesome. And tune in later for the Raichu. Actually, I think they're going up at the same time. So tune in for the Raichu GX, uh, Turbo Raichu list as well and i'll see you guys on the next video in the new year so thank you guys so much for a great year this has been dapper Drabby. i'll bid you guys alola and i hope to see you in the next video bye bye now